uh, hi everyone so in the last section we talked about uh, how to write the code with es6 typescript and system js right so this is the one way what are the other ways in which we can write the angular 2 code so here you have the webpack option as also your complete stack will be the same only replace the system js with the webpack and add a webpack config okay so this 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 particular thing is added like if you are using the webpack so you will have a webpack config and in the package.json include all the dependencies of the webpack here you will have webpack typescript ts loader or uh, this is the ts loader which is a transpiler and we are using webpack and typescript right so i hope you already familiar with the webpack so webpack is actually a module bundler not a task runner who can bundle the things together either it's a javascript html css json everything it can bundle so here we are just uh, using this webpack config so in this webpack config we are using ts loader and style loader so what it will do it will take the main.ts as an input and it will generate the bundle.js as an output okay so when we run this code let's see so here it is we are using webpack and it is, it is the same component we are using just a hello world component this is the root module which we have created app component right and here we are bootstrapping this root component create from browser dynamic and here we are just passing this root component as the entry point of the webpack that's it so this is the entry point of the webpack this is the output and this is we are processing so with the help of the typescript loader and css loader we are transforming the input and creating the bundle.js as an output so this is all about the webpack webpack is actually a module bundler who can bundle all the dependency inside a single bundle file so whatever we have in this complete application we are passing the main.ts as an input file for the webpack config and we are bundling all the things together and we are creating the final output file which is bundle.js so so let's explore more onto the webpack that uh, how we can have a different bundle output files for the different different uh, dependency files so let's take that in the next video